Hey guys, welcome back to Keeping Healthy on a Budget. Okay, this is part three of a four-part series. If you guys don't know me, I'm Dr. Konzu, aka The Chef Doc, and I coach others on learning how to thrive through the means of Thrive Medicine, Lifestyle Medicine, and Culinary Medicine. So for this four-part series, guess what? It's a new year, it's a new you. Okay, let's get at it. Let's try to uh, get healthy. So for today's third part, we're gonna be going over tips on how to be healthier while being on a budget as well. So here's the first tip. Buy in season and look for sales. So there's a lot of things with buying in season. This may count, seem counterintuitive because every time you walk into a produce, it looks like, oh, mangoes are on sale all year round. That's kind of weird, right? Or grapes or blueberries, right? Every produce has their own season, but the reason why you're seeing all kinds of produce all year round is because a lot of produce is imported from different countries. So there's a lot to this because there's a lot of food miles, which I can't go into this video, it would take too long to talk about it, but it has to travel a certain amount of miles to get to that particular grocery store. So you wanna be able to buy produce, okay, that has traveled the least amount, so buy in season and look for sale. Okay, so if you have uh, sales, obviously you're gonna be saving money. So tip number two. So next time you're in a farmer's market, go for seconds, okay? And what I mean by that is you're going to go towards the end of a farmer's day market and you're gonna be looking for things that are very close to spoilage or look imperfect. And so a lot of produce is actually thrown away because it doesn't look well. But if you could actually you know, negotiate with your local farmer at a farmer's market and go for seconds, you might actually save a lot of money and actually they taste just as great, just as don't look that great. So go for seconds. So for the third tip is go to the farmer's market near closing time. What a local farmer doesn't want to do is be able to take back leftover produce. They wanna be able to sell everything. So if you are able to go near closing time, be able to negotiate and be able to reduce their typical price and guess what you'll get a bargain so i would highly recommend that you go to a farmer's market near closing time so the fourth tip is stretch your snap dollar aka food stamps so if you're part of the snap program or food stamp program you can take this to actual you know farmer's market and be able to stretch your dollar um, to be able to buy as close to twice as much of the produce. So make sure that you utilize that as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching this part three and stay tuned for part four and check out the other parts as well. Hit that like and subscribe button, all right?